Three million Americans are gluten sensitive or a celiac disease, and the number's growing daily, mostly due to awareness of the side effects. But some businesses are looking at the gluten-free trend as a business opportunity with sweet profits. You could say that Sheila Carmen is one smart cookie. Her Cookies by Design store just launched new cookies without gluten. Hard to do, but she couldn't have picked a sweeter time. I think the awareness, once people know we have it available for a minimal upcharge, they can get gluten-free, and um, I think it's going to be huge. It's estimated that her sales will increase by 15%, given the fact that more and more people are choosing a gluten-free diet for all sorts of reasons. Just to be clear, Cookies by Design is not a gluten-free kitchen, but their gluten-free cookies do come from one. They come in shipped, sealed, to avoid cross-contamination. That includes those suffering from celiac disease, an autoimmune disease that makes foods with protein found in wheat, barley, and rye off limits. Bloating, severe abdominal cramping, those kinds of symptoms. Even nasal allergies. And some think gluten causes more problems. ADD for um, uh, dyslexia, for uh, autism, sometimes that has been, it's being explored to see if there is a connection. Nothing's been proven there, but a lot of people nevertheless are swearing off gluten for good. That's just how the cookie crumbles these days. I love the white chocolate macadamia. I've probably eaten like half a dozen of them since we got them in. They're really good. I mean, they're a little, you can tell the difference in the texture, but there's no difference in the taste. Dietitians say while you don't need gluten in your diet, getting rid of it may actually cause you to lose some important B vitamins and minerals like iron that are usually found in wheat and grain products. That's why it's important for you, if you suspect you're sensitive to gluten, to see a doctor.